Hey team, it is day 48. I pray that you're all having a great week and motivating yourselves to just get things done and accomplish some goals that you might have on your plate. Let's go over the six daily goals. And then I do want to talk about uh, one topic uh, that, you know, I kind of had somebody really close to me, uh, one of my good friends say, I don't like to track calories or I don't like to track my food, you know, like actually writing it down and stuff. Um, we'll go over that and what the benefits of that are. So let's get into the six goals first and foremost. I do have to use some red today, but I was 218, so that's a nice thing. Uh, yesterday I was you know, 219 when I got back from that traveling, 218 today, and it just could be a number of different reasons why. Uh, you know, Maybe I was retaining a little bit of water because I was on the plane, but 218, before the seven weeks, that means 14 pounds, Got the 14 pounds on track. I like that. 1873 were the calories, 128 ounces of water, only six and a half hours of sleep. It just, you know, start a week, super busy, back at it. We'll call it a day. 55 minutes of activity back in the gym that I love <laughs> doing uh, my thing. So 55 minutes there and only 194 grams of protein. That to me, I'm, I'm close enough, but I still miss my goal. So I got to use red. Now, as we are thinking about things, I'm gonna reach into my other pocket and take out different colors because I like to be colorful. I'm gonna put these down. Uh, let's talk about the three main reasons that I believe uh, and that I've heard and read and studied that, you know, keeping a, a, a diary, they call it a food diary. I like to call it a food diary because it sounds nicer than a food tracker or a calorie app. Um, you know, diaries just to me seems a little softer, but it's still the same thing. It's so basically I have recommended Fat Secret to you guys. It's a free app online. It's got a little lock and key green with white. Um, go download it if you haven't started. It's great. Uh, and also uh, just wanting to say that those apps or trackers make it super simple for you to uh, record your food. We always have our phones. We always have our phones with us, or most of the time we have our phones with us, especially when we're eating. But I mean, all other things in life that we're doing. I mean, some people even sleep with them next to them in their beds and don't recommend that because of the blue light and it, it, it disrupts your sleep. And we know what lack of sleep leads to as far as overweight, obesity, and dying early is concerned. I always talk about that. But let's go through the three things, three reasons why you should keep a food diary. And number one, I got the green out. So when we look at number one, it's obvious weight loss. So when you take a look at weight loss, there was a study that took a look over six months at people that kind of kept a food diary and followed a diet plan and people that didn't keep a food diary and, you know, died. The people that kept the food diary lost twice as much weight in the six months that the people that did not So the big thing is weight loss. You're going to get more of it if you track your calories or keep a food diary. So the second thing is the uh, food intolerance. Oh, I think this might be right. Okay, here we go. Food intolerance detection. So basically when you are eating the foods uh, and you're tracking them, as you guys have sensed when, when I weigh more, I tell you that I you know, stopped eating those carbs two hours before I went to bed. Um, you also can tell when your body reacts differently, like maybe when something makes you sick or maybe when you get a little puffy from something or maybe when you're allergic to a food or uh, foods you didn't like or foods that made you feel like crap, you know, anything else, you can get to a food intolerance detection. You actually kind of know the foods. Uh, and over time, when I look at my food diaries and, and my, my app, um, I literally eat similar stuff a lot of the times. And when you take a look at a 90 day period, I, am, I don't have that much flavor or variety in my day based on what I eat and stuff that, you know, normally you see a lot of the same foods over the course of time. And I mix in things when I can and have time to eat or the kids want something uh, different. You know, those are the days you do some of the things, but overall, I kind of know what I can and can't eat, what gives me heartburn, what doesn't. And it's all because of uh, the, the food tracker that I have. So the last thing would be, that's the second, let me get out the pink, would be, Better nutrition. And the reason that I would say the better nutrition is because 
inside of the food diary, you know exactly what your serving size was, what your calorie count is, what your macro is, your fat, your proteins, your carbohydrate, and how calorie dense some of those foods are. So when you talk about better nutrition, you normally, when you have to, and I'm dancing back and forth here, sorry, but I mean, when you have to do the keep in a calorie range or you know what calorie range, if you use the rule of 10, pretty simply add a zero onto your weight, add a zero onto the weight that you wanna to get to, and there's your calorie range, you will get to better nutrition because you, with, with the food that we have or the science behind the food that we have and that's made, like our, the, the calorie dense foods that crunch right and hit your palate right and taste right, like the food industry is huge. They do studies um, in laboratories, you know, to, to make sure you get the exact right crunch that the, the type of those foods, you know, makes that palate really crave uh, additional foods. Um, look up the story of like how Pringles are made and stuff uh, and, and what the process was. I think that I think it was in 1960 something that they came up with that. Look at that story and it's interesting in how uh, you maybe have heard the saying, you know, chips are made in the lab. Uh, it's, it's funny, but the better nutrition, uh, you'll be able to see all of that stuff and have a clear view of what is con what's contributing to, you know, your calories in a day and you're going to eat better because of it. So anyway. I hope you guys are doing great. I appreciate your following. I appreciate your support all the time. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. I will address them right away. Or if you wanna see any content or have a question that you want me to answer over a video, just let me know. And you know what? I will address those in subsequent videos. So hope you guys are doing well. Thank you again for your support and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.